Hey guys, it's Dungeon Master Mark again. I uh, wanted to give you guys another real quick update video. I've had a couple people ask me about one of the products I showed listed in the previous video, which was the second edition Night Below box set. Um, I know this is a little bit more of a rare to, or hard to find box set. Um, like I said, it was really, really popular when it came out, but evidently it was a limited edition. They only made a certain number. Um, this is all the way back from 1995. And as I said before in the previous video, um, this came out in 1995. Uh, it was for second edition. This actually came out not long after the uh, Drizzt Duard and the uh, R.A. Salvatore books got really, really big. Um, as you can see, this was by Carl Sargent, which he actually wrote a lot of um, Dungeons & Dragons material uh, a good while ago. It came with the three 64-page books, which I'll go over here in a second. Um, 16 player handout sheets, um, art, charts, letters, um, some various different things. And it does come with a real small little monster's manual. And then the maps that come with this are rather nice also. Um, like I said, the artwork that comes with this really, really, really nice. Back from back when TSR was still in charge of things, so you know it's good material, right? I'll go over real quick the first page, which was, or the first booklet, I should say, out of the three, which was The Evils of Harrenshire. Harrenshire, I can't pronounce that word to save my life. Um, as I said in a previous video, all of this was in a kind of a generic campaign setting. So it's very, very easy to... Change this to a Pathfinder setting, Greyhawk, Forgotten Realms, which, whatever particular setting you're looking for. Lots of artwork in here for you to show the players if you'd like. Uh, back in the day, I actually highlighted a lot of different stuff from my campaign. Like I said, that's the first book, which was uh, the book one. You have the book two, which goes into a lot more of the Underdark setting itself. And there we go, a little bit of artwork and stuff. And then the third book goes into the deep, deep Underdark. This is where you're going to run into the Avalith and some demons and some stuff. And kind of, well, I guess we'd say the under area of the Underdark itself. A very, very, very dangerous setting. This setting is made to take you from level 1 to level 10. Um, it actually has material there where you can go all the way up to level 20. So, like I said, you can easily start off um, first level PCs or maybe even second or third if you really want. And you can go all the way to level 20, which is a really, really, really nice generic campaign setting. Uh, a couple of things it comes up with, it gives you some random encounter sheets, uh, piercers, wormholes, uh, sinkholes, fungal hazards, things of that nature. Uh, like I said, lots of different sheets as far as different experience re rewards. One thing I liked about this was there was a social collapse point system which some of the Underdark cities, you can actually undermine the this town or the city itself. Uh, for instance, you have uh, what they call SCP, or Social Collapse Points, um, destroying the main gates, um, killing 50% of the the guards, uh, freeing charmed individuals from the, the town, um, polluting farms or pools of water, and things of that nature. So if you get high enough, you can actually collapse that, that particular town or that particular evil uh, society, if you will, system and they will basically be forced to uh, to move out of that area which is really nice. Um, a lot of the different handouts which I never cut these out and I always just used them more for for uh, visual purposes. Like I said a lot of nice artwork there. Uh, kind of a generic picture of the town where the encounters take place and there's another one for the characters there. Uh, the monster roster where it shows some of the occupants for different areas and one thing I loved about this was the maps. My goodness, look at all the maps. Maps, 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 and more damn maps. And then even on the underside of this, you have a giant, like an underwater uh, octopus temple, which is really nice. And there's actually several different maps that came with this, which I'll go through those really, really quick, because I don't want to make this video just 15 minutes of nothing but maps. Let me see, more, more areas, more mappage. And the underside of this one is another underground arena. And, and that's not all, folks. Oh, oh, oh. There's more. And more maps. And more maps. If I can get this unfolded here. And we have like a uh, little map there of a uh, valley where, where combat takes place. We have a regional map. And then another map of a room, and then more, more maps. 
Like I said, one thing I did love about this adventure when it came out, they give you so many maps for so many different types of encounters, which is really, really nice. And then the player's handouts. Like I said, I never cut these out myself. So if you do look at getting one of these off Amazon or eBay, you know, obviously they may not have everything included. You would definitely want to keep an eye on what they do have. That just shows you some of the writings or the glyphs of the aboliths, which are big in this campaign. At least once you get towards the end, but it's kind of adventure hooks. There'll be certain markings along the way. And lots of different player handouts for uh, maps, um, items that you find that kind of gives you hints, letters that you may find during the campaign, some artwork and some different items you may find, kind of a rough map. So I'll just flip through these kind of quickly. Here's a playout handout for some of the things that if, they add, if the players ask the NPCs questions, what they'll answer. And more maps. And more maps. And uh, letters that the players find. And more layouts. And more maps. And more handouts. So like I said, overall, I mean... Just a gigantic amount of material that came with this box set. Uh, in 1995, this was $30. So, like I said, back when I was young, when I had to mow grass, that was a uh, quite an investment. But uh, this was one of those campaigns that I, I kept on to. Um, I played it in second edition. I played twice, all the way through the campaign. And I played it once, and then I ran the campaign once for some friends. We absolutely loved it. Third edition, I ran it two times. For a couple different groups, uh, once in college and then once for some friends a couple years ago. And then hopefully here in about a year or so, hopefully as long as my group stays together, I'm planning on trying to convert all that to the Pathfinder system, which may need a little bit of tweaking here and there. But like I said, if you can find this uh, campaign setting, definitely a, definitely a good value for your money. Like I said, if you look under Amazon or eBay, it's called the Advanced Dungeons & Dragons Night Below Underdark Campaign. And that is a complete box set. Um, from front to back, like I said, you can easily go from level 1 all the way to level 20. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.